the other question is for folks that, you know, some of these tumors, even with our best chemotherapies, are never going to come out. Um, and so what do we do after chemotherapy for those patients? Do we um, tack on radiation on the back end of chemo? Um, and that's an open question. We don't have randomized control trial data to suggest that. Um, but there is, um, I, th I see value in, in radiation on the back end of chemotherapy in that setting um, to help prevent the morbidity associated with growth of, local growth of tumor. Um, and I do think that local growth can drive not only quality of life, but also potentially mortality. So helping to control that, um, I think will be a benefit of radiation. Ultimately, we need to give higher doses of radiation. The doses that we give right now are, are not particularly high and that primarily limited by sensitive organs that surround the tumor, specifically the bowel and the stomach. Um, and so strategies that can help um, increase the, um, the dose that we give to tumors, I think um, will be beneficial. In other tumor sites like lung cancer, for example, high doses of radiation um, have been associated with control of tumors that approximate surgery actually. And so if we can similarly deliver high doses of radiation to pancreatic tumors, perhaps we could achieve similar results. Um, so there's a lot of effort within GI radiation oncology to try to understand how we can increase the dose of radiation to, to these tumors. Um, and there's various strategies to doing that, you know, some of which we're exploring at Hopkins.